Some vitriolic opponents of the pub and its influence over modern Irish society castigate it as the executioner of old customs and pastimes. But this establishment in Ballyshannon, County Donegal, for one night at least, is doing the very opposite. Come on in and we'll see. Room, room, gallant room, give me room to rhyme. Show a bit of activity upon this Christmas time. Christmas comes but once a year, and when it comes it brings good cheer. And if you don't believe the words I say, enter in the captain, he'll soon clear the way. Here comes I, the captain, the captain of the noble crew. Same I will relate to you. I the night to be... Europe harbours several varieties of the mumming tradition. In England's Pennine district, folks cherish the mummers or sweepers custom. They tell of the groups who call on isolated homes during long winter's nights, who hum ceaselessly as they clean the household, collect a donation and disappear into the darkness. In Germany, the Bavarian equivalents of these colourful entertainers are known as the Birchen Boys. Through a bag of pepper, through a miller's hopper, through an old shin shank bowl. My mother was strong. Mummers confine their appearances to particular times of the year, depending on the district involved. Christmas season, All Souls, New Year and the first Monday after the 12th day of Christmas, Plough Monday, are favourite times. This group, the Creevy Mummers, resurfaced in Ballyshannon four years ago. They confined their gallivanting to the days between December the 8th and 31st. And for people who've only been at this craft for four years, they seem to know quite a lot about it. Uh, the origins in, in, in ritual, pagan ritual, way back. And I think the first reference to mummers in Ireland was in Cork, of all places, in 1695. And it, it developed and it took on local significance in, in different areas. It signifies um, the passing of seasons and in our particular um, tradition it's the passing of one year into another year with the slaying of, of the Turkish champion by Prince George and then the revival of Prince George which signifies the new year coming in. I have never enjoyed anything as much as going around from house to house, from town to town, pub to pub. It's as I recommend it to anybody. And if you don't believe the word is here, enter in Prince George, he's too clear the way. Here comes I, Prince George, from England I have sprung. I fought so many noble days in volume to begin. One of the most popular forms of mumming entertainment was the staging of a hero combat play. In these, the most common dramatic theme was the killing of one or more adversaries by a self-proclaimed hero. Here in Ballyshannon, the hero is St George and his adversary, the turkey man. Stand by for the slaughter. We fight you, Prince George, by name. and cut you and slash you the size of a fly. And I'll send you the devil that shall pay. For seven long years you fed me horse and oats and hay. And after that you ran away. You're my ear, George, sir. Take out your purse and pay, sir. I have no purse to pay, sir. Take out your sword and try, sir. I have no sword to try, sir. I'll run me weapon through your heart and make you die ah. away, sir. Doctor, doctor, ten pounds for a doctor. Here comes Ivy, Dr. Brown, the best doctor in the town. What can you cure, doctor? I can cure the pig within the pig without the palsy on the gun. And what's your fee? Guineas. And what's your drug, sir? The roo, the sue, the fiddly fee, the bite of the beetle, the wash of the crew, all mixed up in a lamb's quill and they can't tell it. These creevy mummers celebrate the revival of the turkey man with a dance. So much for the past. Next week they head for the United States and they'll bring their act to homes and pubs in Boston and New York.